I'm sure that you know this already. But when the human body is injured in some way, some quite painful way, releases endorphins into its system in order that it may numb itself to that which might almost be unbearable. Creates its own opiate to drug itself into tolerating the intolerable. It's how it survives or tries to When the police first arrived at my office to, to inform me, consolingly but also quite bluntly, of what had happened to Susan, I, <laughs> well, it's difficult to describe, to be perfectly honest. Initially, I didn't believe them. I, I, it didn't seem real. I thought there must be some sort of mistake. I told them as much. They assured me there was no mistake. Identification had been found on her body and that they were, well, very sorry. After they left, I didn't so much as sink in, but envelop me entirely. I wanted to scream. Every part of my body wanted to scream. I thought I would explode. It was all too much to take in, to contain. I wanted to scream so loudly that the sheer force of my voice would make it not true that I could stop it, but I couldn't, I couldn't stop it, and I couldn't scream. Instead this strange feeling swept over me, over my mind, over everything. It was almost physical, I felt it hit me, roll over me. It hit so hard, I thought I would faint. It was like being drunk, too drunk. Everything was in slow motion, and I was falling. And then I was numb. And I think I knew why, in a way, but it didn't matter, because I couldn't control it. It all just seemed to shut down, because it had to. But it was okay, because I could breathe again. It was apart from me. Everything looked different. It wasn't in here anymore, it was somewhere else. So was I, and I've been there ever since, hiding, scared in this strange calm, scared but protected from all that would consume me, submerge me. I'm on an island, you see, and it's very small. And it's very lonely. And I can't get off it. Not yet. (laughs) This is how I survive. (laughs) I know it may seem cowardly, but it's what I must do. (laughs) I know there are storms and raging seas all around me, but here on my island, I look up to the sky, it's blue and it's calm and it's safe. And if I keep looking up, the rest of it I can let go of. Please forgive me.